welcome and um, I, I, I hope, I don't hope, I pray that you're doing great. Um, uh, let's just jump right into the video. Um, <clears throat> I've been uh, in a feeling the word obedience obedience and you know it it kept kept coming up and I was you know of course thinking about marriage and uh, how tight it can be sometimes to to be obedient and uh, it's obedience to the Lord that I'm talking about to be obedient to the Lord and To be quick, it's basically being quick to obedience. Um, it is said that delayed obedience is disobedience. So, um, I thought about, um, there was a time the other day actually, <laughs> I was um, a little pissed off with my husband and um, I was pissed. I think I didn't know that I was that pissed. And um, so we are, you know, talking and whatever. And um, and I snapped while he was talking. I snapped. And um, when I snapped, it's not like it was radical, you know. <laughs> I don't throw tantrums but I remember snapping and I didn't scream at him or whatever but I remember walking away and when I walked away I was in shock that I had actually walked away and um, I was thinking why did I walk away? why am I mad why am I snapping and so um, I'll tell you, I thought to myself, hmm, let me also snap, I've taken a while. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. So I'm thinking and, you know, consoling myself, yeah, let me also snap because, um, it, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> and they're allowed to be mad or something. I'm telling you, that's what was going on in my mind. And when I, I got quiet, <clears throat> It was night time and so um, I take a shower and I go wash dishes, you know, do the dishes and um, I go to bed and he tells me, okay, what's up, why are you snapping, what are you mad at? And then I'm like, I just want to be quiet, you know, I don't know, I don't even know where those things came from. and. Uh, it was totally out of character for me, but um, I think I had this thing in the back pumping me, um, saying that it was okay to be mad because I'd taken long without being, I don't know, without snapping or something like that. It's not like I don't get mad, but... I get over it, you know, like I pray about it and yeah, yeah, it passes. But this one, I prayed about and, and I think that's why I was in shock because I had prayed about it and I actually thought I was okay with it until the evening when I saw him, you know, and, and we talked and it just didn't work out. So um, there's a reason why I'm telling you the story. <laughs> So, um, when I went to bed and, and, you know, he asked me, okay, what's up, talk with me. And I'm like, mm, I ain't talking. Okay, we switch off the lights and, you know. Ooh, while I was lying, I'm t it's not even five minutes. <clears throat> the spirit just would not let me sleep. I couldn't sleep. And uh, actually prior to that, I'd left him in the living room. And when I came to the bedroom, I remember praying and saying, okay, God, um, if you want us to sort this thing out, um, let him come to the bedroom. <laughs> yes, 
daily prayers we pray and so a few minutes later he came and remember he came and uh, <clears throat> I said I ain't talking so when we switched off the lights fast forward the spirit began to tell me you gotta talk <laughs> and I'm like no I don't wanna talk <laughs> and the pride was killing me I'm like mm -mm, mm -mm, I should have used the other chance but now ooh, it's even worse so in the end I had to succumb to the spirit <laughs> Because like Juanita Benham says, God sees around the corner and you don't. So I, you know, I talk with him. And before I did, I remember going like, uh, uh, you know. But uh, I talked with him. It didn't even take five minutes. And I was so good. And we were good. And... <clears throat> We made up. It wasn't such a big deal. Ooh, the devil is a liar. It wasn't such a big deal. It wasn't that big. But here's the point. I needed to obey God at, at that point. <clears throat> and uh, I'm glad that I did. It, it was a struggle because I'm thinking... Mm, mm. I did obey the Lord and uh, I'm glad that I did but here's my point are we quick to obey when God tells us to are we quick to obey sometimes God tells us things that are difficult really difficult and sometimes there are situations <clears throat> that um, kind of break the norm you know I've been told when, when I was growing up secret so now I think I had one of my friends who kept saying that do not let anybody know your weakness because they'll use your weakness against you and I realized that uh, we've been raised up so excuse me <coughs> we've been raised up not to be vulnerable you know like tough face all the time and um, I don't know if that works. I don't know if that works in the kingdom of God. I don't know. Because the, the scripture says that in your weakness, I shall be made strong. You know, he gives us his strength at the weakest point. At the weakest point is when he gives us his strength. And so, every time you're actually not weak, you don't need his strength. And so, um... I grew up believing that, but after a while, I realized that it's okay to be weak. It's okay for somebody to know. It's okay for your husband to know that you're always the first one to say sorry. It's okay for your husband to know that, yeah, yeah, she'll say sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, she, she won't be mad for so long. It's okay. You know why? Because at the end of it all, we're going to be answerable to God. <laughs> when we go to heaven, you won't stand as a couple. You know, you stand as an individual. And uh, you stand before God on your own. You know, you, you run the race on your own. I've said it and I'll say it again. It doesn't matter. Not that it doesn't matter, because I know it hurts. But even amidst the hurt and the pain, the fact that the other person is not being as nice, as nice, as sweet as they should be, doesn't mean that you don't that it, it doesn't mean that you have to be the same way. Because that's not what love is. That's not what unconditional love is. Um, I'll tell you, 
for sure, for sure, that even if my husband hadn't come to ask me what was up, I would still go and, you know, like, can I please, you know, talk with you and all those things. So, um, I think the main point is let God be the standard, let Jesus be the standard. Not the spouse, not the fact that because you can get mad for three days or a week or three weeks, that means that I have license to be. Mm -mm. That's just not how it works because we are called for different things. We are called to different things. And so um, just because the other person can do three weeks, I don't know, mad, doesn't mean that you have to, doesn't make it a license because that's not the standard. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, is the standard, okay? And he says, do not let the sun go down on your anger. You are allowed to be mad. You are allowed to be angry, but do not let the, do not sin while you are angry. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. The Bible also says that uh, anger lies in the bosom of a fool. So decide, honey, who's the fool? <laughs> I'm just saying. So, <clears throat> I don't want to be a fool. I don't want anger to be in my bosom. So, you are allowed to be angry, but what you do while you are angry is, uh, is what's important. And so, I wouldn't want us to get it twisted. Like I said, I felt like, hmm, let me also get angry, you know, just this not not just this once but this once in a long time let me also you know <clears throat> it felt like it was okay it was a license because it's been so long you know but uh, before god i had no license i had no license and so let jesus be the standard and i understand that sometimes someone pisses you off so bad or they do the same thing over and over and it hurts. Sometimes it ceases to even be anger, but pain and heart. But um, I pray that we take that to God. Because he can deal with it. And every time it comes up and, oof, you know, deal with it and take it back to God. Tell him, hmm, this is your thing. This is your thing. Help me deal with it. Help me deal with it. Because, you know, the scripture says that without him we can do nothing. Um, it's, it's very important, imperative, that we understand that, we grasp that. And so tell him, you know what, tell God, you know what, this thing is tough and I can't do it without you. And um, I need your help with this. I need, it's difficult to remain good and sweet and all those things are made you know so much um pain and hunger it's it's difficult but it doesn't mean that it is impossible and that's why the scripture says that you know god is our present our very present help in time of need and I'm glad that it doesn't say our present help. It says our very present help in time of need. So give it back to God. Give it back to God and uh, trust him. Trust him. I trust him to help you. Um, I, guarantee, I guarantee that he will help you because he's faithful. He's called the faithful one of Israel. I like to call him the faithful one of Helga. It, it kind of personalizes it more for me. And uh, I don't know, it just works for me. So I pray that, um, I pray that uh, even amidst the pain, the hassle, the anger, the, oof, all those I don't know emotions I pray that you shall or we will allow God to give us direction 
and that we be obedient to what he says when he says okay talk to the guy when he says okay shut up now because sometimes you're arguing and the argument is going nowhere and you'll feel the spirit tell you mm, be quiet and it's not like quiet um with an attitude like i ain't even talking no <laughs> not that quiet but the quiet of okay god will deal with this i'll let it pass you know that that kind of it's okay and it's okay from the bottom of you know of your heart so i pray that we grasp that and that we're able to be obedient because god sits around the corner and you don't and we don't so um yeah yeah um i believe that god is talking to somebody today um when you watch this video he is saying something to you and so i pray that you listen in on what he's telling you to do is he telling you to prepare dinner yourself and uh, stop just buying snacks is he telling you to get onto a healthy journey you know like gyming or good food um is he telling you to pray for your husband more is he telling you to i don't know help him with his clothes make sure his clothes are um what's the word his clothes are I think in the country we say ironed. <laughs> His clothes are ironed and you know set for work, set for the whole week. And for some people you're rolling your eyes like who even does that? But maybe that's what God is telling you to do. And sometimes God tells you the things that are sometimes they're out of the norm. Sometimes they are they just look or sound ridiculous or I don't know. I'm thinking if you spent five years without preparing your husband for work <laughs> and all of a sudden you're starting it, it just looks crazy. But don't even play with what God has said. Don't don't even play with it because he ain't playing and he has seen something around the corner that you haven't and I pray that you shall work with him. I pray that we shall work with him. You know, he's not, he's not saying you're perfect and you're not going to do it perfectly, but you're going to do it excellently because he alone is perfect and uh, the rest of us can only strive for excellence. And of course in our walk, we walk towards perfection, but we'll never hit the mark of perfection of course, until we are in the other body. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. I'm here to confirm that when I read, you know, about it. But uh, that's where we're at for now. And so, oh, let's pray so this video is not so long. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another video yet again. I thank you for these people that are watching that are listening i pray in the name of jesus that you help us to be obedient to be quick to obedience um not to question what it is that you're saying but to walk exactly quickly in that which you've told us even when it sounds ridiculous crazy out of the norm kind of are you serious right now i pray in the name of jesus that we'll be able to do those things because you said that we do and we pray that you give us strength and the grace to actually do it we thank you we love you we bless you and we take it by faith in jesus mighty name amen okay